Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about typing again. Um, and in particular, we're going to be talking about typing of star args and star star quarks in a function signature. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm gonna make a small example of a function that I often write when I'm dealing with the subprocess module. Um, and it'll hopefully help demonstrate what we're working on today, uh, what, what, we're, what we're talking about today. So often when I'm working with subprocess, uh, and, and the signature of the actual subprocess function that I wrap, which is usually check call, uh, looks something like this, where the first argument is the command, and that takes a tuple of strings, or a, I guess it's a sequence of strings more accurately, sequence of strings, and then it has a bunch of other keyword arguments. So it has like, you know, standard out equals, I think it's an int. It might be some sort of enum. There's also standard error, etc. There's a bunch of other arguments here. Uh, but I often find that, you know, requiring a sequence here is a little bit annoying. Uh, and there, so I, I often write a function that looks something like this. Uh, check call. And I take in the command as instead a uh, star arguments. And we'll talk about the type annotations in a second. And I also forward along any of the keyword arguments to the underlying function. So I often write a very simple function that looks like this. Actually, I don't even have to return subprocess.check call command and star star quarters. So basically all I'm doing is forwarding positional arguments as the sequence here. Um, the reason that I used tuple earlier is this converts it into a tuple. Um, and I actually went over all of the different argument types in another video. I will link the argument type video as well. If you wanna go over that, I'll also link my introduction to MyPy if you wanna check that out as well. But anyway, this is the function that I usually write. And one kind of annoying thing with this is when I go to type annotate this. Uh, command, this part is really easy to type because this is just saying, you know, what is, what is the command type? And fortunately, all of the arguments in this are strings. And so when you type annotate this, uh, this colon stir here says that every single positional argument is a string. Oh, I guess I should show you a call down here. Echo high. Whereas before I would have to do set process dot check call and then have an extra set of parentheses here, uh, which is just kind of annoying. But anyway, um, so what this is saying is that every argument in this you know collection of arguments is a string. Um, so you couldn't set, you couldn't represent something that's like, you know, one of the first positional argument is an integer, but the rest of them are strings. Like that's, that's not a valid, uh, there's no, there's no way to type that in, uh, the current set of typing. And, uh, that brings us to a problem when we're typing star star quarks, uh, because the types of the keyword arguments for check call, uh, there's a bunch of different types here. I mean, I've only shown ints here, but there's also some Boolean arguments and some other stuff. And so we don't really have a good way to type these. And fortunately, or unfortunately, I guess, you can import from typing import any, and this will just say, you know, allow any argument here. Unfortunately, this turns off the type checker for any sort of arguments that you would pass here. So, you know, if you accidentally did, you know, like standard out equals foo, uh, and then we were to run mypy on this, mypy t.py, uh, oh, we need to install mypy, of course. And we do mypy t.py. You'll see that mypy allows this to succeed. However, if we were to run this file, you'll see that we get an error, <laughs> uh, in particular a type error because this was the wrong type here. And so we don't really have a good way to represent the you know, keyword arguments here. Now, uh, for decorators, this is especially a problem because often when you're writing a de decorator, it can work on any function. So you're not really worried about the underlying implementation. So you often have, you know, some uh, you know, def decorator func and then uh, func tools, perhaps func def decorator inner star args, star star quarks, and then I don't know, you might do some work here, but you will probably also call func with star args and star star quarks just to forward along the uh, argument specification here. And maybe you, know, maybe you also do some work afterwards. Uh, I will also link the decorator video in the description as well, since that's a related topic. Return decorator inner. 
but yeah, this this also poses a potential problematic issue here in that like, you know, we're using star args and star star quarks, and so naively you would end up having to type these as any, um, which is pretty unfortunate, and also I guess returns any as well. You don't have a great, you know, way to represent the actual type of this inner decorator. Um, but fortunately, there's a new thing that should land in Python 3.10 because it is accepted, uh, and that is this PEP612, which is parameter specification variables. Um, and I'm not even going to pretend that I understand how this works because I have not really looked into this all that much. From what I understand, it's something similar to a type variable. This is the kind of the old way, and again, like where this would be problematic for typing these. Um, but from what I understand, it's very similar to a type variable. However, you can annotate the you know, argument shape and the return value shape, and then you can use that as a special type variable inside your, um, you know, definition here. So you can you can easily get at .args and .quarks and not have to use any in this case. But anyway, that's PEP612. Um, I don't think that actually helps me for the, the Severus's case, but it does help me for writing decorators. Uh, but anyway, hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully that explains how typing works for star args and star star quarks. Uh, if you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.